Hi, everyone. I'm Cassandra Storm, one of the co-chairs for the 2022 Keystone Conference, and I am so excited to introduce you to the co-ed cornhole champion of Arkansas, <laughs> Samantha Etheridge. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Cassandra. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me, and thank you for uh, wanting to put this workshop together. This is like really exciting for me. I never would have dreamed that I'd be doing a workshop at Keystone and actually doing it on a uh, event and a sport that I'm really heavily involved in and love playing. It's just, it's just wonderful. I just, I, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. Now, um, for those of you who know me personally, you know that I'm competitive and I love to play games and have fun. Um, for those of you who have been to Keystone for years, you know that every night at Keystone, we have special events and activities. And in the past on Thursday night, you could go to the casino, you could stay in and play bingo, or enjoy some of the evening events like a DJ or karaoke and you know, the dog and pony lounge much later. So what we are doing is we are replacing bingo with cornhole. And um, where I come from, cornhole is really well known. But um, in my conversations with Samantha, it's not as widely known out there as I had imagined. So some of you may be looking at this Keystone um, event for Thursday night, seeing the all gender first annual cornhole uh, tournament and be wondering, what the heck is this? And why are we doing it at Keystone? So it's going to be a fun social event. It's going to be a blast, but as to why cornhole is so awesome for the transgender community and, you know, specifically for this year's Keystone Conference, I'll let Samantha share why she has fallen in love with it and uh, what is so magical about it for everybody. Well, um, I'm actually one of those people that, you know, I moved here to Arkansas. My name is Samantha Etheridge. I'm married to uh, Stephanie Ward. I live here in Conway, Arkansas, which is a very small town north of Little Rock, but Arkansas itself is just a small state compared to where I come from. I come from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, but, you know, I'm retired and I don't have, you know, really anything other than being a housewife and taking care of the home and, and just, you know, doing things around the house. Uh, really didn't have a lot going on in my life. Uh, I did, did make friends here in the neighborhood, you know, and I have some uh Gender, cisgender friends that I hang out with occasionally. Uh, but a friend of mine asked me, he was involved in playing cornhole. I didn't know nothing about cornhole. I never even seen a board or played or held a bag or did anything like that. So it was all brand new for me. So I resisted for a little while. He finally talked me into it. I finally went with him and played one night. And I realized, hey, this is something I could do as an activity. But more than that, it's an opportunity for me to go out in the community and socialize, you know, and to, I don't go out waving a flag saying I'm transgender, but eventually most people realize that you are transgender and, and it's a way for them to have that interaction and have that social life with somebody who is trans that they probably have never met before and, you know, have questions or fears or doubts or, you know, whatever. And I'm like one of those people who like to break down barriers. And so this was a great opportunity. It was a fun game to play, but also a great opportunity to help me break down some barriers. And believe me, there's a lot of barriers to break down, especially in a small place like Arkansas, because there's a lot of good old boys that live in Arkansas. Nice people, but you know, they just don't know. And so I'm a very competitive person like Cassandra. I love playing sports, I always have, um, but I haven't played in a long time, you know, just because of my age, you know, I don't play like the sports anymore. Uh, but this is a game that anybody can play, regardless of your physical condition, uh, your physical, your sports related abilities, you know, whatever it might be, this is a game that anybody can pick up and it's fun to play, but it allows you the opportunity to socialize and get to meet people from all over. And that has given me that opportunity. I am now at a competitive level. I've been playing for a little over a year and I really just picked up on it. It's just like, 
has become my game. <laughs> and uh, I travel to tournaments now all over the uh, Southern region of our, uh, I play in the ACO, American Cornhole Organization League. And I travel to tournaments, regional tournaments here in the state, all over the state. And I travel outside of the state to major tournaments and play, you know, we're playing with, I travel with a group, which I have become friends with quite a few people in my club. And uh, we travel as a group playing in tournaments. And so many major tournaments we go to, there's like 300 to 400 people there playing. And so you get to meet people from everywhere and play against some really good players. And uh, it's just a fun competitive sport that allows you to get out and meet people in a non-threatening type environment. And plus it's a game that is really fun to play. If you just want to play it socially, it's fun. If you want to play it competitively, it's there. It, the competitive side of this sport is growing like crazy. Uh, the ACL League, American Cornhole League, is actually broadcasted on ESPN now, their major tournaments. And so this sport is really picking up big time. So the neat thing is it's an opportunity to learn to play the sport either for fun or competitively, you can kind of get in on the ground floor. For anybody who's wondering what it's like, it's similar to horseshoes where you and a player from the opposing team stand on one side, 27 feet away, you are tossing bags um, uh, filled with little pellets to a board across from you. And depending where, whether the bag lands on the board or in a little hole, like a basketball hoop, like a mini hoop, um, will determine how many points you get. And the first team to get to 21 points wins. But for somebody like Samantha, a former athlete who needed a sport and something fun to play uh, without going, wanting to go out and get injured, you can do this at any age. You can do this at any ability level. Um, you know, if you've had injuries in the past, you know, this might be a great way for you to come back and still get involved. And Samantha is helping to run this tournament. Uh, I, Cassandra Stormer, one of the sponsors, along with Beth McKinley of Allied Financial Group, who's also a lover of the games and all things competitive. We're so excited to be a part of this. And just how Samantha mentioned, this is an opportunity to meet and mingle. We are combining this with the KBA, Keystone Business Alliance Mixer that night. So you're gonna be able to meet so many new people from Keystone and members of the LGBTQ um, and ally business owners and you know advocates locally to our region. They're all gonna be playing and mixing together. So the beauty of this is, if you have never played before, Samantha has a fantastic way that she is going to bring the more advanced, competitive, experienced players with the brand newbies. She's going to mix them together into evenly matched teams so that everybody can have fun and have a chance to play without anyone super dominating. Everybody is going to have a chance to play and to win and to practice. So our tournament begins at six o'clock. We ask that people start to arrive at 4.30 to register and get assigned a teammate. So if you're all alone at Keystone and you haven't made any friends yet, you are going to meet some people and be assigned to a team that night. And if you have time earlier, her clinic starts at 3.30. So Samantha is actually going to teach you the game from scratch, the rules of the game, give you a chance to practice and how the tournament is going to work. So if you are experienced or brand new, you will have so much time to learn, practice, have fun, meet new people, and it's a tournament. So we're gonna have prizes for you. Yeah. Yep. And you do not have to be great for a chance to win. Everybody registered in the tournament was going to get one automatic door prize entry into our raffles. And every time a team wins, you get another ticket added to the raffle. And we are raffling off some great prizes. Samantha, I know you have some that you're going to share. Yes, I do. I have uh, some, you know, cornhole bags originally were actually just bags filled with corn. Uh, but the tournament bags now have gotten very high tech. Uh, a lot of companies are making them. Uh, they're very specialized bags with different materials and different fillers inside of them. 
but I have like three sets of professional bags. These are gladiators, uh, uh, cheetah bags, which are very good bags. This is a set of lucky bags, snipers, which are a very good set of bags, uh, professional bags. And I also have a set of game changers. Uh, and these like were the first bags I started playing with was game changers. And all of these are a really good set of bags to start with, but uh, bags now range anywhere from 65 to $300 a set. And so depending on how much money you wanna put into it, you know, you can start slow and just pick up, you know, regular bags, which are absolutely fine. Or when you get up to the competitive level, you'll start spending more money on, you know, different bags, trying to figure out what works best for you. And uh, I finally got there. I play with, actually, I play with Vipers, uh, which is my bag that I love to throw now and play very well with. Uh, but just so you know how uh, friendly socially this game is, uh, a lot of families play together and travel to these tournaments. They bring their children. And last week, there was a major tournament that one of my friends played in, and he played against a 12-year-old boy. Now, he's a professional pro, and this little boy is a professional pro now. 12 years old, his nickname is the baby goat. And he beat the socks off of everybody there and won first place in that tournament. And there was like 300 people at this tournament. And so anybody at any age level can play. It's a great family game to play together. So if you have kids, you know, you can get your kids started in this. And kids love to play this game. And they're really good at it too. They're coming up and taking over the sport. <laughs> And it's a lot safer than the lawn dart games that a lot of us grew up with yes. in the backyard. Uh, now, so we don't just have these fabulous bags that Samantha's sharing, and thank you so much for donating those as door prizes. We also have a $250 top cash prize, and we may have another door prize or two along the way as well that we are working on. But on top of that, so anybody can win those just by having a ticket in our raffle. We also are going to have trophies for the top three winning teams and bragging rights from this mm -hmm. tournament. And it's going to be the first one ever. Now, here's the thing. You want to sign up for it now because we are limiting the tournament. Only so many people can play and we are almost filled. So if you want to sign up, do so now on the Keystone website. It's going to be Thursday night. Remember the clinic where you can learn the game and practice starts at 3.30. Then everybody gets a break. Return at 5.30 to get registered and six o'clock our tournament play begins. So if you're not interested in a night at the casino, stay in with us. You're going to be having so much fun with KBA, Samantha, Beth McKinley from Allied Financial, and myself, Cassandra Storm. And we're excited to teach this game to you. Samantha, thank you so much for bringing in all your expertise and running this event for us. We are so honored to have the Arkansas Co-Ed Champ <laughs> joining us for this at Keystone. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just looking so forward to it. It's going to be exciting and fun and you know, just a great time together. We are. It is going to be a good time. So we look forward to seeing you all there on Thursday night. We love you. Happy Keystone, everybody.